for this part over here, it says which diagram could be used to prove triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC using similarity transformations. Okay, so I know they're drawing a couple of images over here, but I think the most important part is to focus on the question, right? So if you can take a look at this, right? Can you see angle A, right, and angle D, right? So because they're saying the two triangles, right, specifically A, B, C, right, and they have D, E, C, right, because they're saying that they're similar, right, so you can actually use the angle-angle similarity theorem where you can say this angle A is going to be congruent to angle D and you can say that angle C is going to be congruent to itself, right, for the other triangle. And in that case, you can use this. So you can say B or angle B is congruent to angle E. So you're going to use the angle similarity theorem. Yeah, it's supposed to be angle angle, but because if you have two angles that are congruent, right, for the two triangles, then that means the last angle is going to be congruent as well. That's why it became AAA, right? So um, let's see what they wrote. So they're saying it's part A that is true. Okay, so yeah, this is true. And let's see. First of all, for part B, this is going to be incorrect because if you're saying you have A, B, C, okay, maybe I can write that here. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. So let's take a closer look at B. Okay, so you have ABC, right? And you have DEC. So the way they actually drew the triangle for the angles, right? This is supposed to have two um, tick marks, right, over here. So that's why this is incorrect. So B is incorrect because you're supposed to have this angle B and angle E congruent and you're supposed to have angle C and angle C congruent, not the, not the other way around because what they've drawn is this angle C is congruent to angle E. That's why it's incorrect. So, And for part C, right, because they're saying you have A, B, C and you have D, E, C, angle B and angle D should have the same angle, right? They're supposed to be congruent not angle B and angle C, right? So it should be angle B is congruent to angle E and you should have angle C is congruent to angle C. That's why this figure is incorrect. And for part D, this is going to be incorrect because you need to have at least two angles that are congruent to the other triangle, right? For the similarity theorem to hold true. So that's why it's angle A. Sorry, it's part A, not angle A. So. Let's see what they wrote. Um, because angle ACB is not equal to angle DCE. Yeah, so that's what we said, right? So we had ABC is not equal to DCE. That's true, yeah. So that's their explanation. And for part C, they're saying here, there is no relation between the corresponding angles of the triangles, hence they cannot be similar. We have angle ABC is equal to ACB, which is 50. Okay, by the way, the 50 degrees and the 45 degrees is something that they just came up. But the whole point here for part C is you need to say that angle B and angle E should be congruent, not this angle C and angle B. So you don't need to assign numerical values for your angles, right? But if it helps, then go ahead. But to answer this question, you don't need to bring up numerical values for your angles. Okay, so for part D, it says, we have a right angle at B for the given two triangles to be similar. There must be a right angle in angle DEC, yes. but even though you have a right angle at angle B, which is coming from this triangle ABC, and even if you have a right angle coming from DEC, right, you need to have at least two angles in triangle ABC and two angles in triangle DEC for them to be similar, right? And it has to be the same um, corresponding angle. So it doesn't. So basically, my whole point for part D is even though you have a right angle on it 
on triangle ABC and a right angle on triangle DEC, it does not suffice um, for you to conclude that they're similar because you need to have two angles in a triangle for them to be similar because of the AA um, theorem, right? Angle, angle. So it's not just one angle. So um, yeah, this is correct. So 